Fox Carolina Weather. Weather rate certified most accurate local forecast. Good afternoon, meteorologist Kylie Miller here giving you a severe weather update. For today, we had the chance for some strong to dangerous storms once again, just like what we had yesterday. The good news is we don't have any active watches or warnings at this time, but we're going to keep a close eye on it. As you can see, this line of rain starting to get closer into our region, especially off towards the deep south. That area is going to be on high alert today for more scattered, widespread severe storms. For us, though, it's going to be a little bit more isolated, but it's still a threat nonetheless. As we zoom on in right now to Greenville County, right over Taylor's, we do have a thunderstorm happening now. You're probably hearing that rumble of thunder and then back off towards Western North Carolina. Again, heavy downpours at times, seeing that lightning possibly cloud of ground lightning. So this is something that we're going to keep a very close eye on. You can see the tail of the cold front already sparking up quite a bit in terms of strong to severe storms. We have already been dealing with that so far this morning across the deep south and those areas still having that threat in place. If you know anyone in that area, loved ones, make sure to check up on them. Here's a look at the latest storm prediction centers severe weather outlook. We have now upgraded to a slight risk for the southern tier of the upstate anywhere south of I-85 has the better chance today of picking up some strong to severe storms. But regardless, all of us have a chance to have some damaging wind gusts, some hail, a brief tornado, and of course that cloud to ground lightning. On top of all this, these are some slower moving cells, so we're going to have to watch out for some flood concerns, especially as we head into the afternoon and evening hours as about two to three inches of rain could be possible. Here's how everything's going to play out on Futurecast. As I fast forward the clock and stop it here at 7 p.m., you can see that cold front starting to sink through. We're going to be dealing with these scattered rain showers, isolated storms at times. It's just going to be hit and miss, and all those flare-ups could go severe, just to make sure you are staying weather prepared. And then by about 10 o'clock, it's just going to be some lingering rain showers that will continue into your Wednesday morning with improving weather conditions. So make sure to have a plan in place in case of your weather does strike your area. And make sure to download our Fox Carolina News app. You can pull out your phone right now, take a picture of that QR code. It will take you directly to the app where you can download it for free. So if you lose power or anything else like that, you will still be in the know. So make sure to download that Fox Carolina News app and we will send you back to your normal programming.